Hello, everyone. Welcome to Technologies Discussion Channel. Today, I'd like to continue the discussion on transmission line theory. For this video, I'm going to emphasize on a lossless transmission line. This video, I'm going to show you to you how can we actually represent a lossless transmission line. When the transmission line is lossless, it actually means that the resistor and also the conductance is equal to zero. So this video, I'm going to show it to you when the transmission line is lossless, how can it affect the equivalent circuit model and also the various equation that we use to represent transmission line. So all this will be the objective of this video. This will be the part five series discussion on transmission line theory. If you're keen to know more about transmission line theory, please take a look on the playlist under the description. Over there, we have a series discussion on transmission line theory, and we're going to update more video from time to time. So therefore, if you're keen to know more about transmission line theory, please keep a look up on the playlist under the description. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to help this channel by pressing the like and also subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Guys, once again, sincere thanks for your strong support. Okay, so these are all the equations that I have derived from part 1, part 2, part 3 and part 4 series discussion. If you are not clear how I actually derive all this equation, please again, look at all those video or press the playlist under the description. Over there, we have a series of discussion how I actually arrived on all these 10 equation. Okay, but in the interest of time, I probably can't go through all these 10 equation again. However, this video, I'm going to make you some of the equation over here okay, to represent a lossless transmission line. The transmission line theory part four, okay, the discussion is mainly for a general transmission line, okay, which means that they actually include all the loss effect. And it was since that the propagation constant, okay, so this is the propagation constant, and this is the characteristics impedance. They are so-called complex. Okay, complex means that they have this J term and also they have this magnitude alpha plus J beta here. So basically all over here, you can see that they consist of real term and imaginary term, and therefore they are actually known as complex. In many practical cases, however, okay, the loss of the line is very small okay, because you know that for transmission line, it's actually a good conductor. Okay, so once it's a good conductor, we can assume that the loss is very minimum and therefore it can be neglected. Okay, this result in a simplification of the result setting R and G equals to zero. Okay, so over here, if I set my R and G equal to zero, so what I left is basically J squared, W squared, and LC, right? So if I take the square root, okay, so therefore I can put JW outside the square root, and what I have basically will be JW square root LC. So basically this is the new propagation constant for a lossless transmission line. Again, for the characteristic impedance over here, again, I put my R and G equals to zero. J, W cancel each other, and therefore my characteristic impedance will be represent by square root L over C. Okay, so this will be the characteristic impedance for a lossless transmission line. Next, okay, earlier on, on the part four series, I have so-called derived this equation. Basically, this equation will be the general solution for voltage and current on a transmission line. Okay, but for this case, we are going to emphasize on a lossless transmission line. So how does this equation change? So like what I mentioned, these are what I have derived on part four series discussion. So once the transmission line is lossless, so what happened here is basically this seven will become this equation. This equation nine will become this equation. So what? Are the changes over here you basically see all the k term and if you still remember the k term is actually equals to j beta now so over here you can see that all the k term 
market will be represented by J beta. Same for this K term here will be represented by J beta. Same for this equation nine. So all the K term will be represented by J beta. So from here, okay, so these are all the various solution for voltage and current on a lossless transmission line. While these are for the general solution, okay, which means that they still consider the loss. But over this case here, my R and my G is equal to zero. So therefore, these two sets of equations actually define a lossless transmission line. Next. Okay, so this is a wavelength. Typically, when we define a wavelength, they actually behave in this form here. So over here, you can replace the wavelength as using this. Basically, all this K is equal to beta, and I'm going to replace it. Very straightforward. So basically, you can see that this is a very generic so-called represent for the wavelength for a transmission line. But once the transmission line is lossless, I will use this equation to define it. Same as phase velocity. Okay, so phase velocity is typically is V equals to lambda F. Okay, so basically it's represented by this equation here. So basically, again, the K can be represented by beta. So this form is actually to use to represent the transmission line, which is lossless. Next, okay, I'm going to do a quick summary okay, on the lossless transmission line. Early on, okay, I have mentioned that this is the equivalent diagram model for the transmission line. Over here, you can see that I include my R, I include my G term here. So once it's a lossless, R becomes zero, G becomes zero, this resistor and this so-called G term conductance will disappear. Okay, so this will be the outcome for a lossless transmission line. In short, okay, this is the equivalent circuit for a lossless transmission line without the R and also without the G. Okay, simply just series L and shan C. That's all. So imagine this will be another series L and shan C. And this thing happen on and on. Okay, without consider the resistor and also the conductance here. So basically, this is the equivalent diagram for a lossless transmission line. Okay, so next, there are various forms that so will change when I actually declare that the transmission line is lossless. Okay, most of them I have already discussed early on, but I put it over here to make the discussion complete. Okay, if you still remember my R and G is equal to zero, finally, this will be my propagation constant. So it will be equal to J w square root lc this will be the characteristic impedance for a general form of transmission line once again i declare a lossless transmission line okay the equation for the characteristic impedance actually simplified so instead of this tedious it becomes straightforward a square root of l over c next okay how to represent the voltage and current at any point on the transmission line okay so basically again this will be all for the general transmission line okay which means that we we still consider all the losses as a trial however when we declare is a lossless transmission line okay the rules change so simply the k will be changed by j beta that's all so basically this set of equation okay will be describing the voltage and also the current on the various point on the transmission line same for the wavelength and also same for the phase velocity. Wavelength is governed by this equation, so therefore the K become beta. Same as velocity, so instead of K, they become beta. So with this, I have clearly defined what is a lossless transmission line, what will be the equivalent circuit for a lossless transmission line, and what are all the equations that will be affected once the transmission line is a lossless one. So with this, I'd like to end my discussion. Please sub to like and subscribe. Once again, sincere thanks for your strong support. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye for now. See you.